<laughs> the FBI did not send me. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, you said nothing. Uh, uh, she know how she said it, man. She said nothing hard to say, right? Let me put that FBI in my city. Let me start right there. Let me start there, because I got... When I see, I watch this not, I, what I am, is I say, I'm excited to see the second version of this update. And I don't mean to, because I like this one. But a lot of things that were, you talk about bringing up the symptom and not saying the full problem. And so there's a lot of issues that what she was talking about like when I was, you know, I'm, I'm young, but I'm still, I'm considered, you know, an 80s baby. I grew up more than the 90s and the 80s. Um, and it's true, when, when I was coming up, it was mostly sexualization, you know, like the rap videos, boys and girls having sex, you see the first, you know, girl girls pregnant in junior high school. That relates to why now, these kids now, that their parents, what are their parents doing? When you had a 14-year-old mother, and now you're 14 years old, your mother's only 28. Well, you know, what kind of mother are you gonna get? And not to mention, is the father there? We talk about the community. That's the issue as well as, well, you got this 14-year-old girl, her mother, well, her mother's a single mom, and her attitude can be very adversarial. They can be, hey, I was a single mom, I made it, so you gotta make it as a single mom. I'm not gonna help you. No, you need to struggle how I struggle. Because I struggled, I was 14, I first time had no kids, now you, you're dumb and you're 14, so now you gotta struggle with I did. You don't see the uncles coming out to be supportive to help this young sister raise her son. And so, especially when you bring up subjects like, like homosexuality and the homosexualization, the intimidation of the black male, there's a, lot, there's a lot of social and chemical elements that, you know, I think I will discuss, I hope to see. Because you look at, chemically, astrazine being put in our water. They put chemicals in the water that have been shown to induce homosexualization. That's a huge element, because you look at then the black listening, black lining of, of where black people can live. They force black people to live in certain communities, then they deplete the resources in those communities, and they affect those resources, they affect the food that they in, and that can chemically induce homosexuality. As well as, as a young boy being raised by a single mom, it's there's certain feminizations that's gonna happen because you got a single mom raising you. She got, you know, when you gotta go to the bathroom in public, she has to take these women's room with her. Because where else can she take it? She can't take it to the men's room. When she's gonna go out shopping, she's gotta take you with her. So you're going with her bra shopping, you're going with her panty shopping, you're going with her when she's getting her feminine clothes, her feminine outfits, you start trying on the shoes that are there. And there's a lot, so there's a lot more that's going on that reflects on this. And I I see that I wanna, you know, I wanna see that as being part of this discussion. Because you gotta realize that yeah, as was mentioned, this was started decades ago. Started, you know, when you start bringing crack in the communities, you get mothers, or, you know, fathers, mothers and fathers, families breaking up, sitting, you know, single parenthood and young you know, sexualization of our women back in the 80s. You have young girls getting sexualized, having kids younger, and that's where generation for generation, seeing between when my mom was coming up, even here in DC in the 60s and 70s, and that's the, that black family unit was a much stronger family unit. And that's where you see that the drug, the war on drugs, can kind of come in, and it's, you know, what I'm saying there's a lot of elements, and so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this. I'm happy this is here. This is a brand excellent place to start. I want to see as, as we take these videos and move on, and as we as a community come together and address all of these with a place of, I think, though, I just want to see like, acceptance of it. Though I just want to see a little more understanding that some of some of these boys and girls are are victims. Of a, of a large system as a whole. And you said you want to say acceptance? I think, I think, I personally think. What, what does high, acceptance mean? You can, you can accept, you don't have to say that you're going to promote it, you're okay with it, you know what But not We're not going to accept it. Against it. We're against it. I understand you are against it. Okay, we're not going to accept it. We're not going to accept anybody who accepts it. What, to, what are you trying to give them to accept that? Homosexuality. Well, not, no, not necessarily just saying, it doesn't just say accepting homosexuality. What not just saying? accepting homosexuality. No, I'm not so not accepting homosexuality and what else? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Okay, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that accepting the, the, full, the full system, the full, the full everything that's happened to everybody. And What's the system? Well, this, I don't think well, it's oh, wait, wait, wait. Straight black pride. Do we accept crack dealers in our community? No, no sir. sir. No. Are we going to accept homosexuality in our no, community? No, no sir. sir. Are we going to accept pedophiles in our community? No, sir. No, sir. So your okay. interests here are no longer uh, useful, sister. So what do you want to do? We can stop. You can stop. Wait, you can stop right here. Well, you might be misinterpreted, but you got a choice. You can stop. Go ahead. Can I say something? You get her about. But then, uh, don't get the name. You're going to say nothing until she makes it, then we can talk. We can talk about my family.
we all know that. But let me let, let me just stop because this is what I want to do. Not people, this guy's in folks. Yeah, you know. This is this the thing. I, I want to say the part of it. I know some people. Cause I know some people. Feel like, I didn't know if that right. This is what happened. The homosexuals sent in planes mm -hmm. to disrupt and take us off of what we're talking about. So we have a whole list of videos that goes into everything she was talking about about the feminization of the black male. We have racism. Everything she's talking about already exists in terms of that. What we did here, and I'm kind of glad that happened, because we got to understand something. First of all, if you were listening to it from the very beginning, it was obvious where she was going. She might not have heard it. Yeah, that's right. I heard but, it. but you don't want to jump out in front because other brothers and sisters might not know where it's going. Right, right. So you got to be patient and wait for them to expose us.